Okay, so moving on to the red one, it's quite a crimson red, so I'm going to start off with my crimson red as my base tone for this. And blocking in with that. You can see in here there are some orange or reds coming through in there as well, but I'm going to use this as my, my kind of base note if you like, and then work on top of it. Now because I'm using the red, when I want to go darker, this crimson red, I'm going to add blue to it. So again, not using the black, I'm going to use the blue. So that gives you these kind of purple tones in here, rather than um, Dull, making that colour duller by adding the black to it. Um, remember what we said at the beginning about Sarah Graham's artwork being um, very fresh, very bright, very bold. We don't want to lose that by, by adding grey tones into it. So you can see I'm just leaving a little white thread along here so we get that that bold highlight. This is not a brush, bad brush for this, it's quite fine but heavy enough that I can load my brush um, but it's got a decent point on it so I can actually get around. Now so when I come down here what I'm going to do is rather than add anything to that paint I'm just going to stretch the paint out to get this lighter area at the bottom so I'm just dragging my paint down. So I haven't added anything else to that paint. It's the same colour, just less pigment, more water. In order to get that lighter tone as we come down here. I'll do the same to stretch this out to the edge. So this goes a bit more vermilion red on this side. So an orange red. So you have crimson red and you have vermilion red which is a much more orange orange red. So this is your crimson red, this is your vermilion red. So I'm going to start putting some of that through in a moment. Now actually I quite like using the watercolours for this, although um, you will know from yesterday looking at Sarah Graham you will know that she used um, oil paint and acrylic, so a very different technique to what we're doing today. But actually the watercolours are allowing me, they, these kind of blossoms of um, colour here which work quite well for this so although we're using a different material I am able to create this a, a similar effect. If you've got acrylics at home by all means use them for this acrylics would work really well I just went for these because I know that most of you have got a set of these at home now I missed out that white bit there didn't I? That's going to cause me some problems I think so layering this vermilion red over the crimson pink to start to get this depth of colour in these sections here so it no longer just is the colour straight for the palette it's starting to mix those together getting that depth around there right now I might try just to get some of those highlights back that I've lost, if I use a tissue and I can blot that out, that will bring me back some, some of those white areas that I missed and then I can paint back round around them so I've still got those little highlights in there. So wet brush onto your paint clean tissue over the top just allows you to pull it back and put those highlights back in that I missed. Right, so I'm going to go into this darker area in here now so I'm going to use some Prussian blue which is your darkest blue and I'm going to mix that with a bit of my crimson red so I'll get a really dark tone to go Ooh, went off a bit 
so too much water on my brush. So that's a mistake there. Just get this darker tone in. So this is the inside of the sweep. Pull that around. Get my crimson in there. And then I just need to deal with this part of the plastic, plastic bit that's going through here, so the elastic. So I need to go in the direction that it's travelling in, so from left to right. And I can see if I look carefully in here, there's some um, vermilion red. Dragging through that. Also some very light edges, so I'll try and leave some of those. Some of that darker tone that I was using a moment ago. This end going in slightly darker with that blue. Just knock that back a bit with a bit of water. And then I just want to put in, I'm noticing there's quite a bright yellow highlight in there. Just want to put that in across there. Okay. So you can carry on working on and developing your painting. Um, if it takes you longer than the lesson, that's fine. Finish it off for homework. Just send me a photo of what you've done so far so that I can record your progress for this lesson.